When the woman came into the shop, Mrs. Berry, what did she ask you? She asked for potatoes. And what did you do? Uh, the ones on the board was too small, so I bent down to pick up a bag for her, and she hit me on the head with something. What did she hit you with? I don't know. Did she appear to take anything from under her coat or out of her bag? No. Well, you see, most of the times I had me back to her, you know, so I couldn't say if she took anything out of her bag. What do you think she might have hit you with? Well, it could have been one of the stone weights or the half stone weights. That you used the scale. That you used to weigh the yes. potatoes with. And how much money did she steal? Between 100 and 119 pound. Have there been any other robberies or attempts at robberies in this shop? Six weeks before this robbery, there was one of five pound ten. They two lads done it. They threatened to kill me two children. I had them here. Did they have any weapons? One of them had uh, a big knife I have on the counter. They took that. That was the only one they had. And threatened you with it? Yes. How do you feel now about serving by yourself in this shop? Well, I wouldn't stay on my own. My father stays with me all the time. You pursued him for two or three miles, and what happened then? Uh, he crashed into a wall, and just as I pulled beside the car, he got out and ran in the direction of Camel TV. And I could see an object in his hand from the right of the motorcycle. A weapon of some sort? Yes, seemed like a screwdriver. And he jumped over a low wall. I followed him in there, and eventually caught him in the front lawn of a house. And did he use this weapon on you? Yeah, but uh, as soon as uh, we clashed, he, he began to stab out with the weapon. Uh, he met uh, several lunges at my head. And in fact, cut you very badly? Yeah, I got uh, several cuts. Where did, you get, where did you get them? Um, under the eyes and at the side of the face and at the back of the ear. You were wearing a crash helmet at the time, presumably, if you were on a motorcycle. Yeah, that's right. If you hadn't been wearing this helmet, would your injuries have been worse? Yeah, I'd say they'd been far worse. You were, at this stage, uh, cut and, and bloody. Yeah, well, And fighting with this man. Yeah, that's right. How long did the fight last? Yeah, I'd say about 15 to 20 minutes. And how did you eventually apprehend this man? Um, I got assistance from a squad car, which was summoned to the scene by a 3-9 call from one of the neighbours that heard the row. You've possibly seen this weapon since. Is it a very dangerous looking thing? Did you manage to get it away from him at any stage of this fight? Uh, I got it away from him at the end of the fight. It's, uh, the blade came apart in his hand. But I got the blade into my hand. It seemed to come out from the handle. which you had a hold of. Have you any idea why these youths attacked you? No, I haven't. If I could think of any reason, I could, but I couldn't, you know. Well, tell me, tell me what happened. Well, I walked into this pub in Renla, and the fellow was with me, me, you know. He ordered a point of staff for me, and I walked out to the toilet. When I went out to the toilet, these three youths followed me out, and one of them says, right, let's get him, you know, so. I was finished going to the toilet and the three of them jumped on me and proceeded to take me with 10 inch knives. With 10 inch knives? 10 inch knives, yes. What, what sort of knives were these? Well, they were big knives, you know, trimming knives, about that hunt, you know. Years of trimming, beef, you know. When they came into the toilet after you, did you see that they were carrying knives? No, I didn't, I didn't see it, but I saw they were carrying knives that I got out of the toilet. Right? Did you know no. that they were coming in to attack you? No, I didn't, no. And when they attacked you with the knives, did they stab you? They did, yes. Where? All around the head, you know. What sort of injuries did you have? Well, I sustained head injuries. I was annoyed that very badly, you know, and I got blood transfusion in the hospital. I was very badly in the hospital that night. And when you were attacked, how, how did you manage to save yourself? How did you get away? Well, I was screamed, you know, when I got attacked first. I didn't, I didn't feel the knife going to me, but when I got attacked, I screamed. And the barman came in then. Like, three youths ran out of the toilet. I know I staggered out in the barn and called an ambulance. Well, next thing I know, we walked in the hospital.